think a uh, long time back when Guruji was in his old house teaching people sometimes people with some problems would come to him problems that medical science couldn't uh, help and they would turn to yoga and Guruji would try to help them and figure out how to help them and that's how it started back then. Most of the people who teach here in the institute are also attending therapy classes as assistants and it helps in a way because we come directly face to face with people who have certain problems and being able to help those people somewhere trains us in a way to deal with people and their problems and certain situations. It is the student, a senior student or a teacher who expresses an intention, a wish to help in the therapy class. So they approach the three of them or one of them. And if the three of them or the one of them thinks that this person is capable of doing that, then they ask them to come to help in the therapy classes. And who are the three of them? Guruji, Gitaji and Prashantji. Oh, it is, it is an amazing experience to be able to see directly the change that she brings about is an out of the ordinary experience. To be able to see that she spots a certain conditions, more often than not these conditions do not appear to us, do not express themselves to us, but she spots them and after she spots them she deals with them and she deals with various, various kinds of people, various situations and conditions that these people go through on different days. It's, it is beautiful to watch that and, be ex and experience that. Gitaji uh, usually sees the patient and um, actually she, uh, it is very interesting to see how she um, diagnose the patient she will be uh, sometimes uh, taking the uh, she will be telling patient to remove the shirts and she will go to the spine and uh, watch the patient she will make patient walk also sometimes to see what how the way he walks how where the uh, he's uh, exerting the pressure on which leg he is going and on uh, seeing all that thing those things uh, she will be giving treatment And here I want you to do Vipreet Dandasa, okay? Okay. This is okay, then this is one and this one. If you don't understand, come back to me. <coughs> How are you today? Fine. Better. Eyes? Okay. Eyes are better. Okay. Bring the life in that lying down position. Roll it. Because it's going fra Ah, see, she can lift that much. That means support that much to the quadriceps. Her, because the way she walks makes her thigh to drop. Okay, okay. Now press that ankle. Mm, better. Put a bolster over there and she will be holding. That's it, bus. And madam, you touch that bolster with your leg. Okay. It's there to have get the support, okay? Mm. When you lift here, what happens to her ankles? Mm. So at least in lying down position, please first remove those pills. See, she goes this way, we have to bring her this way. Okay. Go on that, madam. Yeah, that's it. Uh, be, be, be there, that's it. Now, okay, that is okay. No, but you don't turn your head, head center. In the tilted career. Body house, when she keeps the head in the center, tilt in the body remove. Because she walks all the time crookedly. Okay, that is making her spine to suffer, but she thinks only is the knee and the leg. No, now one leg stretch out, out. This leg? And other leg has to be, one has to go for the Badakonasa. And find out the range of the movement. And now with this leg, what you can do, find out. And allow the knee thigh to open, the groin. Yes. Now where is she showing her tightness? Here, it is tight here. Exhale. It's so painful. Pain is not the criteria. Movement is the criteria. Here it is tight. Mm. 
movement has to come. Okay. Put it here. Pain is there, yes. but you just as well pressing me. Press. Yeah, you press me. Two, three, four. Shift, shift. <laughs> what did I do? Allah wante le pech le Allah no hushar. Allah no hushar. Ah, apni ribs. That's it. Good. Good. You did it. But she's also very demanding. Is she? <laughs> I don't know. Seems to be. Um, she's very kind, and that kindness may sometimes come off as demanding to other people who look at it from outside. But it's a pleasure to to do this. Did you see what she did? How will you know then? Uh, did you were, were you honest when I said you repeat? No, Why didn't. were you not honest? I didn't remember how I put her up. That means you did blindly. Yes. What you don't remember, you did blindly. I had her what you had to experience, you did not do that. Why? I didn't think. Open her armpit. Yeah, and that was very strong. Here yeah, the fingers were pulling the shoulder strong down. Now elbow state. Oh, Save on the elbow. Move back the abdomen. Ah, head state. Hi, Sadek. It was a great learning experience, and she's a great teacher. And what she did was exactly what the patient needed to have done in the pose. Oh, I learned how to um, correctly assist somebody in Urdhva Hastasana that can't straighten their arms. And that's what I'm here for, is to learn from Gita Iyengar. The Iyengars are the best yoga teachers in the world, bar none. And um, whatever they have to say, or whatever other ever information they have to impart to me is well worth it. And I will um, listen to them and take their instructions completely. Uh, I didn't feel it was harsh, I just felt it's her style of teaching and I don't take anything she says to me personally, I just know she's there to assist the patient and assist me to help the patient. Well, as a, I, ha I was a patient myself in the medical classes two years ago for breast cancer and, um, and kidney problems and I believe that they what they do medically is just incredible. Um, they do what what they do in, in connection with uh, medicine or medical treatment I think is just great. If someone needs a support for the chest for say as you were saying and if the support has to come from the back in that case the support has to come if my hand needs to go there, the hand has to go there. If I need to apply a little more pressure, I could be using something like uh, using a knee sometimes or even the head sometimes if you have seen that. So using my body as a prop, uh, obviously it has come from Guruji. We have probably seen uh, lots and lots of photos where Guruji has used his knee, his head, shoulders, his body weight, his lightness, all these things to help the person to get into the post, to get into the asana for the benefit uh, to reach that person. So at that moment, whatever is needed, we have to arrange for it. Um, say it be a prop, wooden prop, metal prop, whatever, or us as props. With all these things, what we tend to share is more positivity towards life, towards day-to-day -to -day activity and uh, hopefully it also transforms the approach of what we are doing, whatever we are doing. Every day I learn something new. Every day something new I learn. And what is the reason why there is medical classes now? to help people.
because we want to help people. <laughs>